Okay guys, let's put a boatload of hourglass makeup on my face. <laughs> oh, okay, so I have nothing obviously on my face right now and we're gonna start by prepping my lips with the Hourglass Lip Oil. Now, this is a splurge. It is just a beautiful product. So it comes with this little gold tip and you just squeeze this button just a little I'm gonna be oh there we go okay and a little came out and I'm just gonna put this on you guys this is just a beautiful um, product and it really moisturizes your lips so I'm just prepping my lips with this lip oil but oftentimes I will just wear um, a little lip liner and then top it with this oil and it just looks so pretty so Okay, we've got that. Let's go ahead and deal with complexion. So you guys, my original, I am a huge fan of stick foundations, as many of you know. <laughs> and my original love was the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Love, love, love. But another one of their products that I want to show you today because I have gone through a couple different tubes of this, um, is their Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. So you guys, this gets considered like a BB cream or a CC cream or something like that. It has a lot of coverage. So I actually had a whole little um, hourglass makeover with, um, you know, at Blue Mercury and the woman was really, I was wanting to go this route. <laughs> and she was wanting to go this route and i'm so glad she did because honestly this has been one of my absolute favorite products so i'm going to use a little combination of both of them the hourglass vanish sticks are full coverage it is a totally beautiful um product and i will always love it but the skin tint i don't think gets enough love and I'm just gonna take a little, you guys, because honestly, this stuff is has a lot of surprising coverage. I am in the color light beige, and I am gonna be curious, because I had had this, um, looks a little dark, but um, I had, um, it is very thick. I had um, had this little makeover thing, um, during the summer so this may be a little bit not this summer but um in the past so what i'm doing is i am just going to kind of treat it like a bb and you know what i am going to grab a damp beauty blender so one thing is it's very thick um kind of forgot it is very thick but it's so lovely on the skin so I'm first going to rub this in with my fingertips and then go through with a damp beauty blender to kind of really put this in, um, really incorporate it into the skin. But can you see it has a really nice coverage and it is um, kind of glowy. And one thing is, is you guys, I do have the Hourglass, um, actually this is the number 28. This is a beautiful primer. This is not the Mineral Veil. The Mineral Veil is amazing, but uh, my skin is, tends to be more on the dry side than versus the um, other. But when I was having this um, makeover done, she had said that this tint, the Hyaluronic Illusion Tint already has the primer built into it, that you don't need to be putting anything more on it. I actually really liked this woman because she um, she wasn't like, you know, trying to sell me on a million different products. Um, <laughs> it was probably the opposite way. I was probably like, don't I need this and don't I need that? I'll be right back. I'm going to get my beauty. Okay. You guys, I kind of forgot how much I love this Illusion Skin Tint because can you see it has really nice coverage? Um and it just evens out the skin. Now it is a thicker consistency, which I kind of forgot about. Um, so I think some people do not like that, but this gives you, I would say medium to full coverage. 
So if you're wanting something kind of like the IT Cosmetics CC cream, like that one has a lot of coverage. Um, and it just really evens out the skin. So, okay. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the Vanish Stick. Mm. <laughs> um, I also have their concealer. So I, let me just do a couple things. So either you guys, if I'm traveling, I'm just going to take the sticks. These are beautiful and I really do love this, but since we're going the route of, I'm going to actually show you what she used on me. So I have the Hourglass Concealer. And you guys, if you have ever tried the um, Clay de Poe, the stick um, concealer, this I think is a complete dupe for that and it is at a fraction of the cost. Now Hourglass is not cheap by any stretch of the means, um, but everything I have gotten from them is beautiful. So all I'm doing you guys is I'm putting a little bit of concealer and I'm warming it up here because she kind of used this as, you know, almost like a foundation. Now she also did not believe in, she believe, she believed in um, using concealer in the same tone as your skin. She was not into all of the lightening up, you know, going a couple shades lighter with your um, concealer. So I am actually in the color tan. <laughs> Um, which seems crazy, but if you are kind of going with the idea of just matching your skin, um, so I'm just lightly going underneath my eye area with this. It is a very thick um, concealer. Nice, super nice and creamy. So I'm just taking a little bit on my ring finger and I'm gonna rub them together. And I am going to just place them right in that little socket area that is nice and dark. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some on my eyelids because that's how I tend to prime my eyes. I love to get rid of those, the redness. Um, but it is just a really beautiful concealer. It's going to last you forever, by the way. So if you like that clay to poe kind of really thick, um, you know, the one in the little tube. I seriously, I've had that before, which was super nice, but um, this reminds me exactly of it. So that, okay. So you guys, can you see, I have got just um, that illusion tint. And one thing I'm gonna say is this wears very well throughout the day, but I have found that even for my dry skin, I get a little bit um, of shine through the T-zone because it contains that hyaluronic acid in it. So we're actually going to powder. <laughs> um, and um, I did run out and get that hourglass um, veil powder when it came out. Um, and again, as many of you, if you've been watching my videos, you know I rarely do a lot of powder. I always am scared of it that it makes me a little bit look older than I am, but I did get that and the hourglass brush that has dual ends. I really have to tell you, I have bought a lot of the hourglass brushes and love, love, love them. So I am just taking in on the big fluffy and I'm literally just gonna go down the T zone just a little, just like that. And then I'm gonna take that other side. You know what, we'll do what she did. So we'll, we'll, um, I'm just gonna duplicate just a little bit cause she was so good. So, okay. And I'm just putting a little bit all over to set that. Beautiful, I really do love this powder. Um, I just feel like it kind of perfects your skin a little bit. Um, and don't worry if I'm looking a little bit powdery, it is going to die down. So I feel like this just doesn't get enough love and we all know these are amazing. So, okay, that, and then I also feel like their concealer doesn't get enough love and I think it's amazing. So, and that's coming from someone who doesn't even like concealer very well. Okay, so we have that on and then next what I wanna do is start warming up my skin. So 
I have one of their full size um, bronzers in. This is in, if my eyes, this is in Diffused Bronze Light. And it's just a beautiful bronzer. You guys, I know that their powders are expensive, but they last forever. I've had this for, I think, two years. I mean, it is amazing. Um, and with that twofold, I actually really like this brush that I have from them. This is for the ambient lighting powders, but I really like that to kind of bronze up the skin. And then I also have this one that fits really nicely. If you have any of the little special holiday hourglass, um, these ones, um, these fit perfectly in there. So let's see. I think actually I'm going to use this big fluffy part to put on a little bit of this blush. So you guys, one thing about this one, it's a little darker um, than I, I, you'll see. So you need a light hand with this. It will be, you will feel bronze. Can you see that color? This is just a really pretty bronzer. Hi, sweetie. Sachmo is wanting a little bit of attention right here. Okay, so just putting a very light touch because we are going to be putting on some other fun products from Hourglass. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna take a quick peek in here. So that just sort of warmed up the skin. If I wanna go, I'm gonna actually go with this little, let's go with this brush just a little bit. Um, you know what, I am going to use a palette that is um, special edition, limited edition, but you can buy um, the one that's in here is bronze light so it's a little bit lighter bronzer and it is in this particular color but you can buy it so i am going to go ahead and i'm going to use this special guy i'm going to take a little bit of that um, and again i'm going to try to just use things that you can buy in the individual pans but i'm just going to go just a little bit here now i do think one thing that um go a little bit across the bridge of my nose one thing is hourglass has been kind of known to do well with more mature skin these powders are just so finely mill milled that i do feel like they work really well especially for dry skin that's what i'm saying powder and dry skin does not always look great um okay so we've got a little bit of warmth on the skin and we have a lot of highlighter uh, options <laughs> um, this is very hard but first of all i spoke about this the other day when i was talking about my favorite blushes and i still go back and you guys you can this is in a palette but you can buy them individually and um, I just think they're pretty. And today I'm gonna be using this little light guy over here, which is the Euphoric um, Fusion. And this one has been swirled in with the strobe lights. It's just such, so pretty. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. I am going to use again this brush and I will link everything below you guys. I'm not exactly sure um what the brush name is but i will link it below but i know that it's still available and i'm just going to put a little bit of this color i'm going to just give a little pop to my face i just think these blushes are so pretty um i really that's what i'm saying this brand she pretty much i haven't ever i honestly don't think there's anything that i have bought from them that i do not care for um and so I'm always excited. Plus she doesn't launch things just all the time. Like when she does launch, it seems to be for a specific reason. Okay, we're very blushed up now. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take this little brush guys and just kind of uh, uh, blend all of this together. So I love this, um, this particular brush. It's so nice. And I did buy it with for these ambient um, ambient lighting. You can still buy this palette, you guys. Such a pretty finishing powders. Um, so pretty. But now one thing that she did while we are here is she, I only have it in this one color. She, I believe that is, um, 
I think it's dim light, you guys. She took this really light color and she said this was the secret. And she took this little fine brush, put it in here, and then she lightly, very lightly put it in my eyes to lighten up, okay? So I think probably to set that concealer, but she said that was the secret. Just like a quick little, very light brush and that it would, it would set that concealer but also lighten up underneath the eyes. So we're gonna try that. Okay, so next up you guys, for the eyes, I have a discontinued eyeshadow palette that I'm not gonna be using today, but I am gonna show you. This was one of these swirl, um, beautiful eyeshadows. These didn't tend to, uh, I don't think a lot of people like them. I can kind of see they are beautiful. This is actually in Obscura. Um, beautiful, but on my day to day, you guys, I'm just gonna go with that bronzer. I'm gonna take this bronzer in Diffuse Light and I'm gonna use this as shadow. So I'm just gonna pop it in here. And I am using the Rodeol, uh, this is a the eye blender. And I'm just going to put that all over the eyes. And then we're gonna use one of her beautiful scattered lights. Um, I love those, they're so pretty. So we'll use that, but I just use this color. Now you can now, when you see this on my eyes, you can kind of see that it's a little bit dark um, bronzer. It's a very pretty one. I, I just don't think you can go wrong with any of the bronzers. And I know that it is an investment, um, but I, that's one thing I'll say is these, it's not, I don't feel like they're going bad. The powders are just gorgeous. Um, and I just, I just, I, I really think it's a beautiful, beautiful brand. Okay, you guys, so all I did was just slightly give a little shadow through the base here, just like that. And, um, there we go. So you can see, I feel like you can really see the bronzer shade. So it just is a nice, pretty color. Then we are going to use one of the gorgeous uh, scattered, or what are these? Um, sorry, Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow, and this is in Reflect. Oof, you guys, so pretty. There was so many, I felt like you couldn't go wrong with any of these. Basically, I bought the one that, you know, was left because they were all selling out. <laughs> um, and let me just show you this gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Is that so pretty? Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna be placing that just right on my lid, very gently. Um, I just think these give such a pretty eye, eye, little light to the eye, so pretty. Um, I'm gonna see if you guys can see. Do you see how that just like made your eye pop? But it's not over the top. I think that's one thing is I do, I do love me a little shimmer. <laughs> Um, but I, I just feel like there's, they've come so far where even if my eyes are a little aging, I feel like I can get away with it because it's just giving a little bit of lightness. It's so pretty. Okay, so here we go. Just like that. And already, just already, I just feel like my eyes look a little bit brighter. Um, okay. Yay, oops, I got a little bit right in that eye. So pretty. So that would be like this super simple eye and then I'm gonna finish it off with my favorite eyeliner of all time. So you guys, I'm a huge fan of Hourglass. Um, they're the 1.1 millimeter gel eyeliners and my favorite, favorite, favorite is Ocean Floor. And this is, they have it in Canyon, they have it in black. You can actually buy, they're, they're very cheap. They're like $18, but they do not last. Like you will whip through this in no time. Um, but I just, I, they don't smudge. They're fantastic for aging eyes. Cause you guys, as you can see, um, the, as the skin is getting a little looser, you, if things are smudging around throughout the day, it is just not a pretty look. So what I'm gonna do is just line really closely 
This is great for those of you that like to tight line as well, but I'm just gonna take a little bit and um, you guys, I just, I love them so much. Um, definitely think they are worth every little penny, even if they don't last that long. That's what I'm saying, this is, that is not one that is bothering me. Okay, and again, I am just getting as close to the lash line as possible. And again, once it's on, it will stay on all day. So with mudger brush, and I'm just gonna soften that line just a teeny bit. Okay, so next up, um, I am going to curl my eyelashes. I don't know if they even have an eyelash curler. I'm assuming they do, but I'm just going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury. So I will do that real quick. And then we are going to use uh, the Caution, the new mascara. So you guys, um, if again, you've watched any of my videos, my go-to mascara is actually Hourglass Film Noir. I have used that again for a really long time. Um, and then when I got the caution, I got a little sample of it. And that one is, this is like, if you want va va boom on your eyelashes, this is the way to go. It literally has like little fibers in the mascara. Uh, that reminds me of having eyelash extensions. So I briefly went down that road and <laughs> um, and this reminds me, you can do it with mascara, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this the best I can on camera, at least with one eye, but I'm taking it at the base and then I am going to I take a little bit of time with my mascara, guys, so I won't bore you to death, but I will give you the finished look. Um, but as you can see right off the bat, I just, you guys, it just, it has these, it just clings really well, but it's not, um, it isn't giving you that, it's a soft kind of look. It's not clumpy. I don't like that very well. So I'll be right back with some eye, some mascara. Okay, you guys, there is the mascara and i just love that you can kind of if you wanted even more baba -ba boom you can definitely do that but it just is pretty amazing it really does um i think it's an um, might be my new favorite i really really like it because i think i can um make it a little more va boom but i can also wear it kind of natural so you can kind of build it up and you can actually feel like the fibers in it that are you know, if you want to make it longer. Um, okay, um, now you guys know I generally don't do a whole lot of my eyebrows just because I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, I make my daughter do them for me, but I do have the Hourglass Arch uh, Brow Sculpting Pencil in Blonde. So I'm just gonna do a little bit and um, we can see. So generally, you guys, it's really the hormonal tail end that is kind of missing for me. So I'm going to just kind of give myself just, I'm sorry, you guys, excuse my little pup. There is construction going on with the house next door. Um, and there's just a lot of activity. So you guys, um, as far as loving on a eyebrow pencil, again, that's not gonna be my forte, uh, just cause this is not something I'm super great at. But I would say this, I like the angle of it. Um, my daughter, who is an eyebrow girl, is she's a brow whiz, Anastasia, uh, but she even said this was a good one, um, or you know, Honestly, that's what she focuses on is she totally just works her brows. So I'm learning. I just don't that um, This seems to be a little bit harder for me. I do get them waxed um, But I do not <laughs> Besides that I kind of don't mess with them. Okay, so a little bit of eyebrows did I do okay? 
but I do personally really like this kind of pencil. So, okay, next up is lips. And with that, I have a few different items from them. And I have the, one of their lip liners, and this is one of my favorite kind of neutral lip liners, and this is in the color Eden. So I'm just gonna give you a little shade swatch here. And again, this one, it's right here. This one is a, I would say neutral, but it's leaning towards that mauve you know, I, I, you guys know I like that. Um, and I'm gonna just quickly give a little bit of line to the lips. And then I also have one of their, uh, this is actually a sample of the, I have another one of these, but the girls, I really like that. This one is in Peacemaker and I'll show you a shade. That's a really pretty right here. I just really like this formulation because it's creamy. Um, it, it is in that kind of crayon, easy to use, really like that. But today I think I'm gonna use, um, I did go ahead and splurge on the um, Confession. I got one of their little sets during Christmas time where it comes like in a little cigarette package. <laughs> I know why I don't condone smoking, but the packaging was amazing. But you know why I love these is because it's so perfect for small lips. Like I cannot get enough of these. I think they're fantastic. And one of my favorite shades that I'll be using today is called You Are My. And I'm just gonna put that right above. That is this color right here. And as you can tell, this is like, both of these are right up my alley. Um, and again, this one I would say is a nice deeper neutral and it's leaning on that mauve kind of um, lip in that lip range. So I'm just gonna lightly um, line my, lightly line these lips. Little lips. Uh, this is just a really nice kind of neutral shade. These are just creamy, really nice lip liners. Um, and then let's use this. So the thing about these guys, these confession um, lipsticks are really opaque. Um, the color payoff is amazing and the stay time is also amazing. So again, I just really, see how it's perfect. Like literally they couldn't have made a lipstick better for my small lips. Um, and this color is one of my favorites. And I also like how you can pop them out. I've got a little stash of them and you just literally take them out just like this and you can replace them. So it's super fun. And I know they right now they have some beautiful, um, I kind of want to get it, um, some, there's a little new shades that they came out at Sephora with the Christmas, you know, they come with the little holder along with, these um, shades and they're super pretty, like some really good, like little bit deeper nudes. Um, I don't know, I might have to check that out. But anyways, okay, so lips are on and then I thought we would do a little bit of highlighting. Um, okay, you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been using Peau de Peche from Westman Atelier. Um, I, that has been like my favorite highlight so far, but I do have two different ones I have um, this one is an incandescent strobe light. Oh gosh, this is such a beautiful powder. It's so nice for aging skin. And then I also bought the Hourglass, um, this highlighter, and I am in champagne. And you guys, let me just show you. This, we'll see which one we wanna put. So this one is champagne, and I just love that cream. It's just so pretty. And then let me give you a little swatch. This one has a teeny bit of, they probably bought that. This one has a little bit more pink to it, this little powder in. So this one is champagne. And then if you can see below, maybe you can't even see, it's blending right into my skin. So maybe that's why you like it. It's kind of a natural looking um, um, highlight. Hmm. <laughs> this is like, um, 
You know what, let's go ahead and use the powder strobe light just for fun because I feel like this one is very natural looking. I'm gonna use again just this little guy, um, this brush, and I am going to take it and I'm just gonna do a little bit above. And I don't wanna do too much because that blush already had some highlight. Um, and I'm just going up, I'm gonna do a little bit over here and a little bit down the bridge of the nose. Let's see if you can see that. It's just super pretty. I, they're, just all their products are just gorgeous. Um, okay, just to really do it up because we're gonna be official um, is, the way that I like to use their finishing powders, you guys, I don't just pick one. I take my hourglass and then I just run it down, literally like that. I dab it off just a little bit, because again, and then I just finish everything and I use this brush. I cannot tell you, this one is amazing. I would definitely recommend that. And then I just put that all over and I kind of also do this so that everything gets, there's no harsh um, lines between blush and highlight and all that kind of stuff. Um, bam. Now, if I felt like I powdered too much, I will go ahead and do a little spritz. Um, but this would be, we didn't even get, we, we used a lot, but if you guys, um, if you ever want me to do another hourglass, um, full face of hourglass, I could do a completely different look because I also love and enjoy, like I love their Alum Sheer Trio. We could do a whole look with this. Um, you know, I could use um, one of the new, we could use one of these guys. Anyways, there's just, it is a beautiful brand, beautiful products. And I have to say this is out of all of my makeup brands, I do have to say Hourglass is always at the top. And I always know when I buy things from them, I'm never really disappointed. I just think they do a beautiful job. And if you ever get to go to LA and go to Venice Beach, they have a standalone store there and the people are absolutely lovely there. <laughs> um, it's just a fun experience to go into that shop um, and actually just have that brand. Uh, it's just anyways, fun. So if you ever get to do that, I would highly recommend it. Uh, my daughter and I went on a little girls trip down there and we had such a great time going into the hourglass shop and we left with some goodies. Um, but anyways, this is the finished hourglass look. And again, love that illusion. Um, just don't think it gets enough love. So um, let me know below in the comments if you have tried this, if you like it. And I would love to know what your favorite hourglass products are. Um, and anyways, thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.